Shalom, shalom, salam to salam. This is Wendem Alonso Tafara of the Lion of Judah Society. And I is broadcasting from this channel on YouTube, Rastafari Fellowship 2. Let's see. There's a video on YouTube, uh, at least the one I and I saw is it goes by the title of Master Yogi Raj Speaks of Meeting Haile Selassie First in 1982. Now this um, Yogi Raj is Guru Nat Sitkhanat. Now we're gonna focus on on the fact that he was invited by by you know uh, a resident of the of the Nayabingi Order and you know it's really sad uh how do we begin you know there's so much to say there's it, it, you know we we're gonna try to keep it simple even even in attempting to do so it, it seems to be a lengthy presentation so we you know uh we hope not to go into great detail we just want to make something clear i not know that for a long time rastafari has been claiming truthfully that Haile Selassie first is god no doubt you know, but but Haile Selassie first, he himself has has plainly showed us and told us, not only by word but by deed, that that you know the the Bible is the rallying point for all humanity, and for his part, he glories in the Bible. So I and I glories in the Bible, and that same Bible is the Word of God, and that same Word is made manifest in Yeshua Hamashiach, Jesus Christos, and so we can't deny any one part. Of the whole, for we are one. I and I is one in the Father through the Son. You see, the Father gave to the Son a selected few that the Son kept in the Father's name, and that is I and I. So, Jesus Christus is the way that we are one in the Father. You know, um, you know, it's a movement. We seem to have gotten stuck, but now it's time to keep it moving. You know, it's, it's no surprise for if we know or we glory in the same Bible as does His Majesty, that, then we would learn that that it is how it how it is and it just is. You know, the first generation, the elders were not ones that made it into the land. They, you know, they circled, they circled the wilderness for 40 years until all but two passed on those two being joshua and caleb for they were of a different spirit and so the elder generation didn't didn't necessarily make it into the promised land so those things that were um you know in times past upheld in the spirit are now revealed in spirit and in truth and so the fullness of the revelation of christ and his kingly character the revelation of the of the spirit of prophecy of these times revealed in rastafari you know the fullness is continuing to be revealed but for the most part has been received by this oncoming generation that has succeeded his majesty upon the throne that same throne that we now defend and the government which we have inherited the power the authority over the word through the son as head now we as the body you know um carry the weight of government government over the things that are holy and i and i is one so to keep it short rastas better pick it up because we must know what we should know you know and i and i say this out of love for we would not that any should perish but if such were to perish then most definitely were not of I and I. They may have looked like I and I, or they may have come from I and I, but they are not of I and I. And so there's a clear distinction. You choose. Now I do say that each individual has the power to choose for himself to be faithful. And but nonetheless, going forward, um. You know, this individual, Guru Nat Sith Khanat, gets invited into a Naya Bingi order residence and he makes a complete fool out of them. You know, unfortunately, um, there has to be a living sacrifice to set the, in some cases, good example 
in this case, unfortunately, to set a bad example. Nonetheless, an example to which we are not to, to follow, but definitely we are to learn from. We have to know as Rastafari what it is that we should know. And we should know to glory in the Bible. That we may be transfigured from glory to glory and beholding his image regardless of the spirit of prophecy in which we find I and ourselves for through the son we are one in the father and we see him as we see ourselves in a mere image thus our glory must be in the bible that this can be made so that we too can manifest that same word in the flesh that we may be one as they too are one in the word the faith delivered to I and I as true and faithful called and chosen Rastafari but first we must study to learn the ways to serve the Almighty we must study to show I and I selves approved labormen workmen need not be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth until then you know we 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 suffer the threat of humiliation. Now let us continue on with Guru Nath Sitkhanath. Basically, this individual comes into the house of the Nayabingi order and robs the place. You know, these Rastas, unfortunately, asleep the day that they wake up. For I'm positive that they, to this very day, have no idea what... Well, you know, I, I, I'm under the assumption that it is quite possible that to this very day they have no idea of the foolishness that took place on that occasion now I would not that it be so but if it be then it is the moment the Rastas wake up they would have found their home empty and I would not brethren and sister that that happened to any of the true and faithful called and chosen Rastafari so we must be very careful we must learn and study to show and ourselves approved to Jah we must glory in his glory which is to glory in the Bible um, you know uh, Ina is going to begin by saying that you know you can hear in the video drumming and chanting and stuff like that you know it's very it's, it's a it's a it's a good way to to stir up the emotions and the feelings but the ignorance is what is at play here this individual Guru Nath Sidhanat, you know I'm not saying he did this on purpose it really doesn't matter it's a blessing and I give thanks to Jah that he allowed for ones to do as he had done so that we can use it as an example of what not to continue doing because it is embarrassing it is a shame and it's quite sad and I would not that it happened to any of our brothers and sisters no longer no reason why they should be happening an individual comes into your own place manipulates you to accept his way and on top of that on top of that you yourself are ignorant of the fact that you are submitting yourself to him for the ignorance the darkness in which you dwell does not allow you to know for yourself the way to serve the true and living God in all liberty of mind so we must know what it is that we worship and we glory in the Bible and Jesus Christ Yeshua HaMashiach is the way the truth and the life now this individual like I said I, I, I don't think I don't know if he did it on purpose I really don't care but he he plays on the ignorance of the Rastaman and utilizes the ignorance, the feeling, and the emotion so that he can thus submit them that, that these individuals worship him in their own house without even knowing. So let us do a, let us go into like some kind of, um, review of of uh the video that i and i have uh seen you know a lot of people say um a lot of people hear that oh this person wrote a book 
um, Guru Nath, Siddhanath wrote a book and he declares that he met his ma majesty after after his what? Exactly. That he met his majesty seven years after they claimed him dead. So, you know, I and I must be strong in faith and in spirit. I and I must learn Jaw word. I must I and I must be one in the word and manifest that same word that we too be in the spirit so that this no longer continue being a, a thing of theology of philosophy but rather an activity a liberty a reality that it, and in in fulfilling this and being teohido and being one with the word and fulfilling the word that the very word be manifest through I and I in our daily walk then we would not require a foreign thought to confirm that which we know is and need no one to assure us of what we already in the Father through the Son have been secured we know for ourselves that what is has been is and will ever be we don't need a person in this case, Guru Nath Siddhanath, to tell us that he is all authority over what we already know to be, regardless of what he may say or not say. I and I know are known and should know the glory, which is through the Son in him. Him who hath called us to serve the Son. As they are one, we are one. Now, you know, this Guru Nath Sitkhanat, he begins by saying that um, in 1982, he was very young. And that was uh, seven years after the death of Haile Selassie. Already we got a problem because Haile Selassie first did not die. Still, this indiv individual would trick you or manipulate you or play your ignorance that you accept that Hali Selassie, as he claims, hath died. But if ones would be strong and know what we think we know, then we would know that we have a problem. This person says that he met Hali Selassie first seven years after his death I and I say Haile Selassie first not die he continues on saying that that his imperial majesty Haile Selassie first was a was a something to the effect of a divine soul or a divine spirit that took on much hardship much karma that his work was very difficult now he goes on into more detail um but um but basically this is completely false because he is who he is he be who he be you know the spirit sustains all things and and what is just is effortlessly even though once may experience a time of difficulty it just is what it is and it's not difficult to be when you always have been and ever will be there's no karma no and no um, hardship in being what you have been raised born and raised to be there is no hardship and karma in doing that which you live to do this is what we live for ain't no difficulty in in, in being I and I see if you if you yourself then you just are and it's 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 not hard to be what you is now in in um in an interview Oriana Falashi she actually asked his majesty let's see this is what she said she said um your majesty have you ever regretted your your kingly faith have you ever dreamed of living the life of an ordinary mortal now this is what his majesty says we don't understand that question even at the hardest, most painful moments, we have never regretted or cursed our fate. Never. 
and why should we have we were born of royal blood authority is ours by right and since our lord the creator has deemed we might serve our people as a father serves his son that's to say willingly effortlessly because it is his duty it is out of love that he does this it's not no difficulty no hardship no karma this is love as a father serves a son willingly then he continues on to say being a monarch is a great joy to us it's what we were born for and what we have always lived for not died for so this whole you know so i and i just pointing out that one's really got to be careful because this person's making a fool of of you know the gathering and then on top of that he's got these people drumming and chanting yeah ja rastafari whatever but making a complete mockery of the situation and having these individuals and we'll go forward to this on uh, a little bit further but you know he 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 manipulates the circumstance that that they un unknowingly worship him to be what he is not but there we go it's that ignorance it's that ignorance that allows the subtlety of the serpent to to creep in now going forward he says that that Haile Selassie first was preparing the space of God for all the people of the world that's a complete lie now see if you don't know anything if you don't glory in the same glory that is the glory of his majesty the first power of the Trinity if you if you don't know him um then oh this sounds great so you just go along with it but this is this is completely false it, it's not his imperial majesty first that prepares a space of God for all the people of the world no he is God it is the son Jesus Christos Yeshua HaMashiach that prepares a place for I and I now actually we're gonna have to go to um, and 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 it's funny because you know this this scripture the Rastaman should be well aware of because they they use it quite often to to justify the lack of obedience to our father oh there's many mansions so anyone can do whatever it is that they please to do that's not the case chapter 14 the gospel of st john let not your heart be troubled ye believe in god ye believe in haile selassie first believe also in me have faith amen also in i jesus christos and why should we not did not the father testify to us the son you know in in the oswald interview he says this is what makes me want to follow jesus christos so who does haile selassie first follow well he follows himself in that he follows jesus christos because jesus christos follows him so ain't no contradiction going forward it says in my father's house in Hali Selassie's house Hali Selassie's first house are many mansions not but you know we've we've wrongly interpreted this it doesn't mean that everyone can do what they want and you can know 12 tribes here and I being there Bobo there that's false no there's one house if we are one then we are not divided if there's many houses then we divided then 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 the house fall nah we united in spirit and in truth but others may seem to be as we are but they're not of us so it's that time because jah has revealed it if we would if we would not have known then then charges would not be pressed against us but because now it's been revealed and now we should know what we are expected to know and in my father's house there's order and the order is in one house in that house are many dwelling places are many spaces are many areas plenty rooms for i and i to dwell if it were not so i would i would have told you i go to prepare a place for you so it is jesus christos that goes forward and prepares a place for us in god in Hali selassie first and if i go and prepare a place for you i will come again and receive you to myself and receive you to myself that where I am there ye may be also I and I and whither I go ye know and the way ye know 
because I and I is one in the Father, with the Father, through the Son. It's only through the 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 receiving Yeshua HaMashiach that Yeshua HaMashiach in turn reveals to us the fullness of Christ in His kingly character. Now, going forward. Um, he says, this is what this um, individual um, Guru Nat Sitchanat says, that um, that just like Christ, he, Haile Selassie I, had been resurrected from the dead. That is a lie. You know, and, and what's sad is that is that these Rastaman go along with it because they can't think for themselves because the spirit of Jesus Christos, the Son, is not in them, so they're not at liberty to receive what is true and to reject that which is not for the for for how could they unless they be learnt in the word it's that word that that confirms that the son is the son and the father is the father and no doubt the son is in the father and because we are in the son we are one with the father outside of the word Philosophies and ideas mean nothing, and this is what this individual Gurunat Sitchanat is bringing: nothingness, no order, chaos, confusion. He says, like the Christ, he Haile Selassie had been resurrected from the dead. I thought Rastaman said Haile Selassie him no die, but this man, you know, he's doing a great job of convincing you that or or you know manipulating you to accept in your own house not being your order unfortunately it's not that we got anything against against them you know someone had to go through it so that most of us or many of us could learn from that but nonetheless you know we used to say that him not die and now you know they're chanting along to this person that's saying that he died oh but it, it makes it good it makes it okay because he says that that he resurrected that's that's not the right order you know, if if we go, and I'm not gonna go to the scriptures, but first the first um, epistle of Peter, Apostle Peter, uh, chapter one, verse three. That's a good reference. John chapter six, verse forty. Now John chapter six, verse forty. Ones may think that it's yes, it's Christ speaking Yeshua Hamashiach, but really it's yes, it's the Holy Spirit speaking through Jesus Christos. But in the authority of the Father, uh, you know, I just point that out um, to avoid confusion. First Corinthians six fourteen, or the first Epistle to Corinthians chapter six verse fourteen, and Romans first. Uh, I mean, the Epistle of 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 the Apostle Paul to Romans chapter six verse four. All these verses, um, and then some, are are supporting evidence to the fact that. It's not. It, it's not Haile Selassie first that gets resurrected. It is. It is Haile Selassie first that resurrects the son, which is completely different. Now, um, and to say that Haile Selassie first was resurrected is to say that he died. So either we make up our mind and we say him not die, or you know, confusion Babylon. Now, going forward. It, he says that um, that many Rasafari and some people believed that he came back from his body because I met him. This is exactly what he says. Now, pay careful attention. Uh, many Rasafari and, and some people believe that he came back, that Haile Selassie first came back from his body now it's inter interesting because he did say from his body because I met him in 1982 and he was declared dead in 19 in the 1970s then he looks around and then he he asked like uh, what year was it and they say oh 1975 and he says and and I met him in 1982 Think about it. Pay close attention. The serpent is subtle. It says 
Rast many Rastafara and some people believe that he came back from the dead. This is what he's saying. Because I met him in 1982. He's saying that your faith in him means nothing. He's saying that he himself has resurrected Haile Selassie first because the world has declared him dead and it's not until he has put it in the book in his own book that that um it says that they have believed that he came back from the dead because I met him because Guru Nat Guru Nat Sidhanat met him in 1982 and he was declared dead in the 1970s 1975 but he met him in 1982 what does that mean he's saying that he has resurrected Hali Selassie first he knows of the ignorance of the Rastas and thus he knows that he can he can manipulate and he can actually in truth he actually is resurrecting Hali Selassie first because ones are not learnt and so it's the words of another that com commit them to the truth that I and I already know that he didn't die but, it, but, but, but this person is saying that that it is him that his meeting is what brought him back that his meeting of Guru Nat Sitchanat with Hali Selassie first is what brought him back why because prior to that declaration of Guru Nat Sitchanat Hali Selassie first was declared or considered dead so basically basically he's saying very subtly I have brought him back to life y'all are worshiping before me y'all invited me y'all are here cheering and chanting and drumming because I have resurrected who you who I have already convinced you has died so it's very interesting ones really need to pay attention this ain't no joke and I'm making this shit up I mean just check out the video but pay close attention pause it rewind it pause it rewind it until you really hear what this dude is bringing forth complete confusion but you know what he can get away with it because I and I is ignorant. Because I and I not glory in Jah Bible. Well, you know, I and I it personally, you know, uh, and the Lion of Judah Society, we do. But the rest of the mansions, uh, you know, decide to do otherwise. But that time has come. So judgment is now. What are we to do? I and I would that that we all keep moving and receive what he has revealed now this is he says oh oh yeah yeah I forgot cuz he, then he says that means that like Christ he had been resurrected from the dead check it out how he flipped it on 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 all these individuals you know now going forward he says that this is a very spiritual thing that it's so spiritual that that he he don't want to go into it so he says i'm going to leave it to you to contemplate check it out i mean i don't know if, if he's conscious or if he's doing this on purpose you know but or i don't know if it's you know it, it like in the spirit now i'm not saying in the holy spirit but you know moved as a messenger to get across what's necessary that we as a people be forced to overcome the circumstance it seems like to me personally to I and I it's a blessing because it just proves the necessity to glory in the same glory that is the glory of his majesty which is the bible now we have a good example to be like all right bobo shanti all right 12 tribes naya bingi called the i self as they please 
you know before it used to be like no nah, you know well we we don't we yeah we don't care for for the bible and jesus christ and all that but now we could be like listen we ain't trying to get the eye of them to to receive the fullness of the revelation because because we hate the eye we doing it because we have love for the eye and we would not that some stranger walk into your own home rob the place make you look like a fool mock the heck out of you and on top of that have you worship him in your own home see we we not down with that we don't like that and we 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 really appreciate love this opportunity to be able to say that in love we ask that ones come to the full revelation of Rastafari in Christ that this kind of nonsense not go on because it's pretty sad but you know not to get all ca caught up with that but let us get caught up with Christ in his kingly character and fullness now he says um, so I'm gonna leave it up to y'all he says I'll leave it to you to contemplate and see what this great master hath done and that he was there and he expressed to have a fire ceremony like I'm gonna be real that whole thing about a fire set ceremony I don't even know what he's talking about but it's it see this is a great spiritual thing he says that I, I don't want to go into detail about it so I'll leave it up to you to contemplate and see what this great master Gurunat Sidhanat has done this day made a complete mockery of you through your ignorance and refusal to obey the clear instruction of Haile Selassie first glory in the Bible and Jesus Christos is the exemplary character that all men everywhere must do his best in his human efforts to emulate this good faith and life that he has showed us assures us salvation so now um let's go forward so it says a divine being can do anything bullshit Haile Selassie first did not teach us that Jesus Christos does not teach us that as a matter of fact in the Oswald uh, Lutheran Hour Christmas special interview Haile Selassie first says clearly I would I would um I would uh, recommend that one study that read and study the Bible for themselves and then later on he goes and says my advice for ones to whom I am the king of kings in other words my reign my kingdom my government to whom I I govern to all those that are subject to my will I advise and require of them to keep the Ten Commandments we know of their content and we can expound on them if we were to do so as it being what he also keeps guards and does then he would accept that we are not only historically a Christian Ethiopian Hebrew Israelite people but actively so a divine being no that's bullshit it, it, a divine being is obedient his obedience is divine we are of a divine nature unseparable one from the other but we have one head in Christ you see the fall of man began with man being disobedient to the authority so man fell from being divine a divine being 
has to be divinely righteous in Christ Jesus. He is I and I righteousness because that is the will and command of the Father. Haile Selassie first. Let's give an example. Can a divine being kill? Can a divine being rape? Can a divine being steal? Sure. But then he would not be a divine being. He would be... I, I'm not even sure what to say. But he would be one committing sin. Doing things that are by nature wicked. And of ha Shaitan the adversary. You know one's really got to consider. You know this whole... A divine being can do anything. This is playing of the emotion, the fantasy, the ignorance. Nah, that you know, Ali Selassie first, being God, took on the form of man and lived as man, inseparable from his divinity, still obedient to the laws of humanity. He did not cheat. He did not steal. And he also didn't just do as he pleased. He is the exemplary character that has raised Christ from the dead. You know, a divine being can do anything. That is a lie. That is false. That is far from truth. Now, in case one's doubt that what I'm saying is true, because this is a pretty, a pretty, um, you know, the statement here really, really moves ones to want to pretend that what he's saying is true because it's in your best interest, but not really. It's in your worst interest, but the flesh receives it to be in its best interest because it satisfies all that is lower than what is divine we should be upheld by our divinity to be in right standing in right accordance in right agreement with the will and command of him who hath called us to serve him that we serve in whom we are one in him that hath called us we are one. Now, Haile Selassie first, in his autobiography, My Life and Ethiopia's Progress, in the preface, this is what, what His Imperial Majesty has to say. And, and it should be enough for once to realize that this statement, false statement, a divine being can do anything. No, a, a heathen, a lawless man, can do anything a, a wicked um, you know follower of Hashitan can do anything no we we do what we must do and that is to serve the father through the son now the preface it reads fourth although there is not nothing that is not written in the holy scriptures if you will enable me to write as I have planned, may our kin and our brothers, that's I and I, who will rise up in future, so this is a prophecy, may our kin and our brothers who will rise up in future take note of the word that you have, that you have spoken. For without me, you can do nothing. And may their hearts... So when it says, when when um this writing says that, for without me you can't do nothing, this is Haile Selassie first, asking us, I and I, that have been raised in this present future. He said this back then. Now, in its fulfillment, us being raised, he's speaking to I and I. May we know... 
may we take note of the word that you have spoken now for without me you can do nothing and this is a reference to the gospel of saint john chapter 15 verse 5 so he's quoting Jesus Christos and he goes on to say and may their hearts be convinced that with your help alone with the help alone of Jesus Christos will they be able to do anything yes a divine being can do anything in Christ Jesus and Jesus Christos in Yeshua HaMashiach because Jesus Christos has showed us the way to serve perfectly him who is our father so in Jesus Christos we can do anything in that our liberty is to serve in keeping guarding the will and the command of him who hath called us that's why in Jesus Christos we can do anything because Jesus Christos only did what was expected and required of him now continuing let's see um, he said that when he wrote in his book that he had met Haile Selassie first he said that that um that nobody uh that they asked him i mean uh, forgive us uh, that that they questioned him has anybody challenged you because Haile Selassie first has been declared dead since 1975 and um he says that that a great part of the Rastafari community we're in a great sense of and then he goes ah what exactly that means you know I have no idea but um nonetheless he goes on to say now here I'm not very I I repeated the the you know I went back went back went back to hear it again again and again I think he says Christ oh, okay okay I think he says that that um a great sense of awe yeah you know what forgive I because my note here is a little but I guess what I was going to say is that there was a place where I, I wasn't sure if he said surprise or Christ but he says that that um that the Rastafari community had a great a great sense of awe because of Christ that's what he said because of Christ we knew that his imperial majesty has the power to resurrect now let me repeat that again and I for uh, you know I asked for forgiveness that I, you know I got kind of like um, mixed up a little bit uh, forgive me for that but he says someone asked him they questioned him when he wrote his book has anybody challenged you has anyone you know um, gone against what you're saying you know because Haile Selassie first has been declared dead since 1975 he said you know what a, the, a great part of the Rastafari community um, have a great sense of awe and because of Christ because of the stories of Christ what we already know whether one's accepted or not that we know that his imperial majesty Haile Selassie first has the power to resurrect do you understand he said now first of all let me say this Haile Selassie first has resurrected Christ but how would you know that unless you're obedient to his will and glory in the glory that is his glory which is the Bible Haile Selassie first no doubt has the power to resurrect for he hath resurrected the Christ in every one of I and I that hath received him but this person is is tricking ones into accepting the the lie that Haile Selassie died because if Haile Selassie has resurrected then you are saying he hath first died and if so be it that he hath resurrected 
then who is it that hath resurrected Haile Selassie first? So this individual, um, Guru Nat Sidhanat, is is you know he's very clever, and then he, he you know he just he just add a little flavor to the whole situation. He says, "Hey Rastaman, do you understand the mockery in the faces of ignorance in the very home of those that have invited this individual? They bow and worship." before an idol that's very unfortunate and sad but at the same time it's a blessing let us come together and glory in the bible as a people one people rastafari in christ yes as yeshua hamashiach that this happened no more to any of us this is quite embarrassing as a matter of fact but it's sad above all you know do you understand he said it's like he understands do you understand you know and you could hear drumming and chanting ja rastafari like that's gonna do any like that's helping Nah, you know i and i should stop you know with the banging of the drums and maybe pick up the bible and read and praise ja in spirit and in truth do you understand you know correct i if i'm wrong but there was a time that that the Rastaman, no man, I and I overstand. This guy's making a complete joke out of the situation. Do you understand? You know, and the Rastaman so being well known for overstanding man. But it's like they fell short. Nonetheless, he said, those Rastas whom did seek to challenge me this is what he says did not have the courage check it out why did they not have the courage the ones that were suspicious the one that knew the ones that knew in their heart and their spirit that this shit's wrong this shit's wrong but but we don't study we don't we not obedient to Jah word so so we can't say shit he said that the ones that did want to to stand and challenge him did not have the courage. I'll tell you what they didn't have. You know, his majesty says with faith, courage, and a just cause. With faith, it begins with faith and not just any faith, but the faith delivered to the saints. And because the Rastaman has not been obedient and does not possess, has not inherited that faith, then he does not have the courage or a just cause to stand before Goliath and you know um, and prevail as the conquering lion hath is until we glory in the same glory which is the glory of our majesty on high through Christ that we can then in faith in Tewahedo the true faith inherited by I and I his children then have the courage to to declare the just cause or the cause that is just and correct the ignorance and and stop the lies now he said that you know they didn't have the courage but that they knew that his imperial majesty you know after all, he is from the house of Solomon and Sheba, and the house of Sheba, Makeda of Ethiopia, a very sacred thing. So he's basically saying, I mean, they, you know, these ones that did want to go against me, they really didn't have a case. They didn't because they don't know what they worship, so they're worshiping me. Now he goes on to say that a divine being can do anything, he says again. Nah, we do as Christ. His Majesty said, this is what makes me want to follow Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ is salvation. Not anything you want to do. That's not the attitude that His Majesty has showed us. That's not the, exam the example He has set. And that's not what He hath commanded. That is not His will. 
Now, he goes on to say that this uh, Gurunat Satchenat, um, he goes on to say that the mind in Africa is more opened. That they believe this and they believe that, that they believe that angels can appear, that spirits can exist, that Christ can bless you. And he even said this um, Gurunat Satchenat, he says that, that, that His Imperial Majesty can even meet you as long as you have hope this man is saying that as long as you have hope that you can be you can meet Hali that that um Hali Selassie first can meet you that you can feel his presence you can you can even feel him talking through him basically this is where where the rastas bow down and worship an idol because this man is saying oh you know the africans the mind in africa is more open than the one here he's setting the eye of them up they believe this and they believe that they believe that angels can appear they believe that spirits can appear uh they even believe that christ can bless them and they believe that Hali Selassie first can meet you as long as you have hope he can meet you you can feel his presence he says you can even feel him talking through me making himself to be one with Hali Selassie when that's not true now I'm gonna say this you can hear Ali Selassie speak through me not because it's him speaking but because it's the same spirit because we saying the same thing and thinking the same thing and reading studying and praising the same word declaring the same son living in the same spirit now I and I is a true and living testimony of himself and the son Aina is one but this Guru, Guru, Anat, Guru Nat Sitchanat nah you cannot hear Hali Selassie first speaking through him you cannot even feel him speaking through him because if that were the case then we would be talking about how Guru Nat Satchanat was talking about how Jesus Christ is salvation, how the Bible is his glory. But that's not what he's saying. He's saying everything that has got nothing to do with the will and command of our Father. This man is a is is orderless, he's confusion, he's chaos, and he's you know, manipulating ones and taking advantage of the ignorance that has been brought upon by way of disobedience to the father now going forward um says let's see here once you open your heart nothing is impossible not nah, not nah, nothing is impossible when you in christ because when you in christ you ain't gonna do nothing but the will and command of he whom ye serve so when we become free to do anything in Christ we become we become bound to his love which is one thing and it's definitely not do as I please it's do as the father required demand and wills that we do now going forward says um you know it goes off into this weird area where it says when the mind disappears god appears and that he spoke to Hali Sel or that Hali Selassie first and him were talking about um the mind is evil and that Hali Selassie first was very intrigued in the science of yoga and in breathing now let me emphasize when i say bullshit excuse my language but you know it gives it a real sense of truth 
in, in in that this is this is truly a shame that ones permit this to be so but Ainai is not one of those that permit this Ainai rebuke this for Ha Shaitan must serve and know his role where do we begin Gurunat Satkanat is claiming that His Majesty is very intrigued by the science of yoga in breathing. Why would he go to Satkanat, Guru Gurunat Satkanat, for these things when when the real and true yoga is in Christ? You know, let it, let let's go. This verse we're actually gonna go. Um, we're gonna seek out. Uh, we going to to Matthew chapter eleven, verse twenty-eight. The which reads, let's see, uh, Matthew chapter eleven, verse twenty-eight, and it reads. Come to me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoga, take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find, find rest to your souls. For my yoke, my yoga, is easy, and my burden is light. You know, one's really con must consider, take my yoga. Christ is in the same yoga as the Father. The Father is in the same yoga as the Son. I not need to go to no Guru Nat Satchinat. And on top of that, you know, if we if we rest, reference what we had heard in a previous um, video in which this Guru Nat Satchinat resides or reads um on in a recorded audio version uh, the the part of his book where he where he claims to have met Hali Selassie first you know what he says he says that he taught Hali Selassie first to breathe once again this yogi dude trying to pretend that he's resurrecting God God don't need nobody to tell him or show him how to be for he is breath he is the breath of life. It's it's ridiculous and it's is pretty is pretty shameful that one's not only accept and allow but but praise this man for for slandering God Almighty. Haile Selassie first is breath. He needed not one to teach him to breathe, for he is breath. He is the spirit of life. Now this um, Guru Nat Satkhanati goes on to say his soul is tens of tens of tens of thousands of years old, millions of years old. Now he says that something to the effect of if if you invoke his imperial, ma um, his imperial majesty in meditation, he will come. Because the power of the soul, the divine soul power, he says, nah, the spirit sustains the soul he's making his majesty less by reducing him to the soul it's the power that's in the spirit the spirit is the power the soul does not sustain itself but through the spirit now going forward it says according to re um oh, what's it called he says um he says, according to reality, you can never die. Well, let me say this, that I and I glory in the same glory that is the glory of His Majesty, which is the Bible. And the Bible tells us that we should expect two deaths. Now, one, uh, the first, if we have overcame, 
then we have defeated the second. But there's one there is one key thing to to recognize in this hard saying for some. But you know, and I hope that many could receive when I say death, it doesn't mean death in the sense that the world accept it, accepts it to be. The Bible speaks of two death. It says that if one dies the first time, one should not fear the second, for the second will not come, as his majesty was not affected by the second. Now the first is a death of the self. But because Christ already died for us, then we resurrect to life without literally dying. You see, when we die or the self that is not the, 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 the true eye, when the selfish eye dies, having not have died, we die yet live. And are not affected by the second death. So this person is saying that that in that according to reality you can never die. No. The false. The adversarial I must die. The false I must die. That Christ may live. Through I. Or I through him. Having had died in all that is not and coming to live in that which is has been and ever will be thus we fear not the second death for it for we have overcame it it hath been overcome now he also said that that his majesty left things undone in Ethiopia that were not properly cared for slander lies deceit and then he goes on to say that that this is because higher forces than God ordained or said established that certain ones have to go through through stuff to be a stronger soul first of all I don't, I don't even want to go into that because he, he's talking stuff that, first of all, if he believes it, that's fine. He could do whatever. But if we are Rastafari, then we do the will and command of him of whom we have taken his name. As though we are the head to give reverence to, but rather we give reverence to the head, which is Jesus Christus Yeshua HaMashiach, which is one with the Father, will and command of the Father. That we may all be one in Christ. In the Father. Now he says that. That for his part. His philosophy. Is being a realist. An, ex an existentialist. That you can never die. Well like we said. The false eye has to die. He he probably can never die because he he's too much about himself, but he will be affected by the real death. The one that I and I not have to worry about for we have overcome even death through Christ in the Father. He says you're not the house of flesh and bone. You're not the house of flesh and bone. He says it like three times and he says which sleep decays and dies. Your immortal consciousness, Lord of Earth and the skies. He says that the, that the, the only difference between now this is interesting. It, it, it sounds kind of like I don't know what to think about it. It sounds like he's not all that off with this one. He does say that that the immortal consciousness that that we're lords of earth and the sky and that the only re the only difference between Hali Selassie first and I and I that follow him is that he realized it 
and that the Rastas that were before him had not. Now he finishes off by saying that if you practice, the inner man is always the same. Nah, let me tell you one thing. You either, you either, you either endowed with grace and mercy from the Almighty, or you're not. You know, man can't take too much upon himself because really, we not in control of nothing. Man must die and Christ must rise. Christ must be raised in inside of I and I that we be humbled and that we turn and be obedient to him whom in times past we have been disobedient towards. See, man really, see, when man starts saying that I'm going to raise my shockers or I'm going to practice to be a God, foolishness. Man does not have the ability to do that all of himself. Man must be in the grace and mercy. And accept what has been given to him. That he be what is required of him. But man cannot go beyond the will. Of the ruler of all things. Creator of all things. Almighty God. Jarastafari. So just a bunch of confusion this man brings forth. I mean. You know, it's pretty sad, but just a word out to the Rastaman. You know, it's time to pick it up. And, 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 and I'm talking about the glory of His Majesty, the Bible. Not only that, but read it. Not only read it, but study it. Not only that, but really pass the test and be tried by fire that we may be approved as workmen need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And not, you know, not being made fools and mocked by ones like this, you know. You know, it happened once, you know, and I, and I see that it happened not again. For it's a shame that ones are so far apart from that which they claim to be. You know, but, but you know, mercy and grace abound above all things we pray. And um, let it be that which is, for it has been, always will be. As for I and I part, you know, written into the book of life, we care not what this man writes into his book of of confusion and lies um I and I is of of what is and not of what is not so um guru guru nat sidhanat we actually give thanks to the individual because um uh he he actually did a good thing you know I and I and I hope that this stirs the zealousness of 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 the of the true man in Christ that we may defend the throne that is our fathers that it not be made a laughing stock Rastafari the head to which to give reverence to and I give reverence to the head in Christ Light of His Majesty revealed to us in the person of Haile Selassie I, conquering line of the tribe of Judah, King of Kings of Ethiopia.